So let's talk about locking in an interest rate when you're purchasing a home. Now, when you're purchasing a home, you cannot lock in an interest rate until you are under contract, which means that you have agreed upon a home you're purchasing and the sales price with the seller and both parties have signed the contract. Now, once it's signed, then you can contemplate locking in your interest rate. What this means is that if rates go up, you will be protected against that increase in rate because you've already locked in your rate. But what it also means is that if rates go down, you won't get that benefit because you've already locked in your rate. Once you're locked, you are locked. Now, one thing to consider is that when you lock in a rate, it is for a finite amount of time. So you're gonna lock in for a certain amount of days. So it may be a 30 day lock or a 45 day lock, maybe even a 75 day lock, depending on when you lock in the rate and when you're closing on that home. So these are things to think about. If there are any delays in the process, you can extend the rate, but that it does cost money. So you will want to make sure that you're locking in a rate for the correct amount of time and make sure there's no delays during the process. These are all questions that you should be asking your loan officer or your loan officer should be explaining to you up front. If you have any questions, please reach out. Have a good week. No, I need